Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cool scrolling text reveal effect uh, with the scrolling interactions here in Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is with this top section here, I'm gonna make it like 900 pixels and I'm just gonna duplicate it two times. Um, this isn't really part of the tutorial. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier for me to show you guys the effect um, when we are when we do it. So what I'm gonna do is have this top section blank and I'm gonna have this bottom section blank. So we're basically just gonna be working here in this middle section. For this one, we're gonna set the background color to some dark color like dark blue. And here's where we're gonna to want to put our text. So to do this, I'm actually going to drag out a container and this container is gonna hold our text elements. So it needs to be pretty wide. So what I'm gonna do is come over to size, press the three dots and turn on advanced sizing. That way we can just set it to an easy percentage just like this. And I'm gonna center it, send it to the top and we'll make it a little bit taller. Inside of this, I want to add a CSS grid. So we'll head on over to layouts press apply and I want two rows. So what we're gonna do is just press add row. And inside of this, I want there to be two rows. So we're gonna come down to layouts and we're gonna choose one by two. And it's just gonna split it in half. Let's also just add like 32 pixels with an asterisk for spacing here. And then we can go ahead and start adding our text elements. Like up here, we're gonna want some text and then down here we might want another text. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's grab this text element. We'll send it to the left and center it. And we can make this pretty long. And for this text, maybe we can say subscribe to, and then let's copy and paste this, bring this one down to the bottom, to the bottom row. And we'll change this text to say Wix fix. Now, obviously the sizing of this isn't the best. So maybe let's try like what 72 looks like. Okay, maybe we can try 92. And last but not least, we'll try 120. I think 120 looks good. So we'll also go ahead and do that for the bottom one. Perfect. And also I don't really like the font, so let me find one that I like a little bit better. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna be using the sign extra bold, but for this top text, we might need to lower it down to like 96. Something like that looks a little bit better. And for this bottom text right here, we want it aligned to the left and centered. Perfect. Now what I want to do is grab the, this text element right here. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom and go to adjust. And for this, what we're gonna do is set the opacity to like 20%. That way it's like slightly opaque. We'll also do that for this text right down here. Perfect. And also let's go ahead and make these text white. So what we're gonna do is grab both of these using the shift key on your keyboard and selecting both and we'll set this one to white. Now we can barely see it because of this container. So with this container selected, let's remove the background color. So now we should see something that looks like this. But now what I want to do is go ahead and copy and paste this text. We wanna make sure that this subscribe to text is in the top container or top row in the container. And once again, we will align it to the left and center it. However, for this one, we're gonna set the opacity back up to 100%. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the Wix fix text, except we're gonna to wanna to make sure it's in the bottom grid cell or bottom row. We'll align it to the left and center. And once again, we'll raise the opacity up to 100%. Now let's go ahead and grab this container. We're gonna come over to the layout section, go to rows, and we'll set both of these to minimum content, just like this. And then we will also add like 6% margin on the top and bottom. And then we can grab this section and set the height to zero. And basically what that's gonna do is it's going to shrink the section to the size of this container, plus the 6% margin on the top and bottom that we applied, perfect. Now what we need to do is create that scroll effect. So what we're gonna do is grab this text element here on top. This is the one that's fully opaque and we're gonna come over to interactions. We're gonna want to have a scroll interaction. So we'll drop this down and press add. And what we're gonna want to do is reveal. So and we're also gonna make sure we want to animate to its design, not from its design. Press reveal, and then we can press adjust. In this adjust area, we can choose the direction 
Uh, for this one, I think we're gonna want it to reveal from the right hand side, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me double check this by pressing preview. Yeah, so as you're scrolling down, it is revealing to the right hand side. Okay, perfect. And in the reveal area, we can adjust the starting position. So maybe we want this to start around 20%. And we want it to end around 60. So 20 to 60, which is basically 40%. So we'll remember that 40%. Now let's go ahead and grab the Wix fix and we'll want to apply another scroll animation to its design. We'll press reveal and we'll press adjust. Once again, we want it to reveal from the right, but instead of doing 20, maybe we'll do like 25 or 30, 30. And instead of 60, we're gonna to want to do like 65. Something that is slightly staggered. But if we come up to the top of the website and we scroll down, this is what it's gonna look like. And I think that looks really, really clean. Now, of course, you can always adjust the timing a little bit. So if we go back into the adjust, we can say the animation area um, and we can set this to start a little bit later. Like maybe we want to do 30 to 70. And then for Wix fix, maybe we want to do like 35 to 75, something like that. But it is important to note that the animation area, 0% means the bottom of the screen and 100% is the top of the screen. So do we want the animation to start as soon as we see the element enter the viewport? Because this right here is basically the viewport. So if it's 0%, it's down here. And do we want the, the animation to stop when it's all the way up here? Probably not. Typically we want to start it somewhere in the middle and end it a little bit before it gets to the top, before it disappears. Um, so that's just something to keep an eye out for. Once again, we can go ahead and preview it with our updated changes. And I think that looks very, very clean. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.